Okay, this is a demonstration video of me putting on a snake knot lanyard onto my Max Ace Corvus. I did have a another lanyard on it before, but um, I didn't really like it. It didn't really suit the knife. I've tried. I went and bought some other other cord and a new bead, which is quite interesting. And these are not. Not a bad. Um, I was trying to get it so that it'd match the bronzed finish on it, but this is as close as I could get. And I'm hoping with this new cord, it might be okay. I've got about 60 centimeters of cord on it. I actually like to get it so that it hangs past past the the pocket clip, so your bead your your cord has to have enough, the lanyard has to start here, about here, so it goes around your pocket lip and then hang over and then hang down. And I like this, the bead to sit just below the, the pocket clip. So it'll sit there, it'll be snake knot there, this bead and then two snake knots at the end of it to finish it off. As far as the length of the cord, I've got about 60 centimetres. I always use way more than I need. It's um, just, it's a lot easier to do it this knot when you've got a little bit of extra length. And I didn't show you putting it through the lanyard hold here. This has got one of the tightest lanyard mounting points that I've ever found. And it took me ages to get it, to try to feed it through that little, little thing. And I see how I go trying to do this behind the camera standard snake snake knot it's just around underneath like that it's not really a tutorial it's just me doing it if you can follow along you go under and through there pull it up and then position it so that it tightens up with a little bit of slack. You don't want enough slack so that it can come over and stop the knife from deploying because the knife swings out there. But you need to leave it with enough here to be able to, because it sits in the pocket, and this has to go over the pocket clip and hang properly you just pull it tight a little bit up that's the first knot again and it's just a repeat rinse and repeat over around under and through Second knot's a little bit different. It, you just have to work it up to the primary knot and get it so that it sits in and it locks into the knot to form the snake knot. And that's just a matter of pulling it tight. And I found if you pull these tight, you, they sit in there. See how it sits in there? You just pull it tight as you can get it and then it won't undo I found with most pocket clips it tends to be about six to eight knots that you have to do sorry for knocking the camera it's a bit hard doing it behind the camera like this it's interesting trying to do it through there And just pull it up to the knot. Just work it through tight. Get it so that it sits up against it tight. There's three of them. You can see the snake knot starting to form.
This is my preferred. I like the snake knot. It's um, it's a it's a quite a nice looking knot once it's all done, and it a lot better than the other ones. I used to do um, cobra weave knot through there, but I found this one's a, a nicer knot, and it seems to suit the suit the lanyard. So it didn't pull it down tight enough. Loosen it up a little bit, get it so that it'll pull down onto the knot because you want to be up. No, see, it's not pulling down onto the knot. I'll do that one again. Sorry about that. That's better. See how it went up onto the, actually up onto the knot, and then you just twist it around so that it positions in properly, and then tighten it down. And just pull each one tight, and they all interlock, if you can see it. There. See how each one starts interlocking. I'll just Sorry about that. I just had to look without looking through the camera. Then again. Pull it up tight against the knot to get it in position. Because if you have a look at the snake knot, it, it actually interlocks in as you go, as you develop the knot. And you start thinking about how many. I've done one, two, three, four, five. Another three probably to go there. Sorry, this video is going to be a bit longer, but I think it's, it will be interesting to see the whole process through. I also found when you add the beads onto the end of it, it actually um, will weigh the, weigh the lanyard down a little bit and it hangs properly. So with, if you don't add a bead to it, it um it just won't hang as hang as well because you you want it to be able to hang down next to your pocket and not flap around too much. As far as the discussion about lanyards go, I love them. You either love them or loathe them, from what I've seen. Um, I like them because they help me pull the knife out of the pocket and it you, it draws the knife as you pull on the lanyard the knife automatically hits straight into your hand and you can just deploy it but it does there is the option uh, there is the chance that the lanyard's going to catch on something and maybe pull the knife out of your pocket which is not ideal there you go you can see it starting to develop up quite it is a it's a quite a decorative decorative knot this cordage doesn't show it as well as it could but it's still a nice knot once it's all tight see one more knot will put it down below where i want it to sit see if you didn't have that extra bit of cordage being able to actually tie the knot is very problematic. You, 
you struggle with it, I found. So a little bit of it is a bit of wastage, but that's just the joy of paracord weaving. I tend to be better over than under as far as it goes. Let's get it to say that it'll sit up against the knot there. And that's perfect. And then all you do is run the bead on. Run the bead through. I think that one, yeah. It's got a glob of paracord that won't fit through. Slowly lick your fingers before you do that because it's going to be bloody hot. That one won't go through either. It's just where I had to flatten it out so that it'd go through the, the lanyard hole. drama. No, it's poking through. There we go. And you just feed it through on there. It's quite a big bead that one. And you pull it up as tight as you can up against there and then just do the knot again. actually think that's going to look quite nice. I'm going to pull it up tight up against the bead because you don't want the bead flapping around, moving. And once it's tight, and the last knot. I usually do two below here because if you only do one they can undo again which is not good because then you end up losing the bead pull it tight up against there position it properly and it's just a matter of tightening it as tight as you can because you don't want it to come undone It's perfect. See how it won't sit there, and then a little bit off there. That's a little bit of wastage, but that's the way it goes. Just let them cool off, and that's the paracord. Snake knot with bead integrated. And that's it finished. I think it quite nice, looks nice. All comes up even. Then all you have to do is work it into the pocket and because of the that that's quite a heavy heavy bead there, it will um just hang there and you grab it pulls out of the pocket, goes straight into your hand and you can deploy the knife. There it is there. Thanks for watching.